that's a spicy meatball. Hi guys, this is Nerd Genius. Playthroughs Season 2 Episode 1. Now the reason why I'm doing Season 2 rather early is because Dark Souls is taking its time. So um, I didn't want to upload videos of me going around farming and killing people um, just for the point of me leveling up. So what I want to do is do something a little different. So I decided to... Um, play a load of my favorite games starting with the Simpsons arcade game the reason why this game is so special is because I you know saw people playing it when I was a kid and always wanted to have a turn on this but um, never got the chance so I decided to um, download it on Xbox Live and um, give this game a shot because it's one of my favorite games and I believe it's the best Simpsons game ever made and um, if you've seen the others like Bart vs the Space Mutants, Bart vs the World and um, you know the Simpsons Road Rage to name a few you know that this by far trumps a lot of them. I know it's a side scrolling beat em up and it only has a um, few different settings to it which is basically hitting a button and punching people or hitting a button and then jumping and punching people but with its simplicity lies the greatness of this game because literally you have like one option that's just to go around beating people up in order to achieve your goal which is pretty simple and um, the great thing about it as well is that it at least puts together a nice little simple story to it. Um, you have Waylon Smithers who's kidnapped Maggie because she has a uh, gem that he's stolen from the jewelry store, which I have no idea why he did that because, you know, Waylon Smithers is not a badass. He's usually just running around pining after Mr. Burns. So um, he turns in this game into a complete and utter psychopath which is uh, something you don't see every day. Now the first level I'm where the shop is literally uh, attempting to track down Maggie and save her which is a great thing. I decide to play Homer because he's one of the easiest ones to use. He's literally walking and punching and kicking um, which you don't get with the others. With Lisa she uses a skipping rope. Marge uses a vacuum cleaner which I don't know how she got access to a vacuum cleaner but she has one um, and Bart uses his skateboard which I find he's literally um, he's much quicker but he's harder to maneuver than someone like Homer now the great thing you can get um, power-ups from these trees like bits of fruit and stuff like that that can help you bring your life back up and um, you get like items that you can pick up off the road as well like bowling balls and and uh, dustbins and stuff like that now this is the first boss he's a, a pro wrestler dude he's Russian actually as well which makes me laugh because um, he was in the Simpsons that, um, Bart used to watch the, that wrestling TV show I think he was someone like the Mad Doctor or something like that. And um, was never seen as an opponent, but hey, that is what it is. Now we have some very zany little villains in this game, um, including a big crusty balloon, a bowling ball, and uh, of course Waylon Smithers himself. But it's a, it's a good little play. You know, it's something, if you want to switch your brain off and you don't want to think too much or press the pad too much, then these types of games are usually the type of games that you play. Yeah, come back with Maggie, you bastard. Okay, these are the bonus stages. The bonus stages are rather easy. You just get given a small goal when you have to achieve it. 
and uh, the goal for this bonus game is to blow up a balloon and I came in third yeah. and up up and away okay I'm in crusty land now following smithers through crusty land trying to get Maggie I've got little items at my disposal, bins and and whatnot. The music in this is pretty cool as well. You have like a Konami created music done in the same vein as the uh, Simpsons cartoon. By far this is one of the most better Simpsons games. Just think, Homer got super powered by donuts. Oh, there's a mallet down there with Millhouse, I better go and grab that. These two weird guys in suits. The one thing that I find about this game as well is that Konami actually um, took their time in putting this game together. It's not like the games that you saw on the um, NES or on the SNES. They actually took their time with it. Well, does anyone remember Bart's Nightmare? That was a bit... Uh. It had some nice little mini games in that but it was one of those games that you just literally frustrate you. Whereas this one doesn't frustrate you as much. Apart from when you're getting your ass kicked. But one of the most difficult baddies in this is a guy who's bald. He looks really old but he manages to move so fluently. There goes the bear. The great thing about this as well, they've integrated one of Matt Groening's um, initial character concepts. The the one that he used um, in his Life in Hell comic book, uh, the character of Bongo. Just think, this has been running since 1989. The Simpsons have been going for that long. I think this arcade game debuted in 93. But don't hold me to that. I might have to look up on Wikipedia and find that one out. In this one, you got use of cats and dogs, so you can actually throw the cat at people. Brilliant. Okay, one of the bosses is a crusty balloon. A mutated crusty balloon. Fair enough. <laughs> I never understood this boss. It made no sense. So I've used up, what, two continues now? Was it three? Mm. Get my ass handed to me by Krusty the balloon. We don't see Sacho Bob in this one. Hmm.
Smoother's <laughs> gone running again. One of the glitches in this game is when um, you get hit or you, you know, come back from a, a continue. You always go transparent, so no one can hit you for like a, a short period of time, like two seconds, I believe. It's a shame that we never saw a console port of this game um, prior to it being released on Xbox Live because it's an awesome, awesome little game. I remember someone calling this a piece of shit. Hmm. I don't think so. I think it was one of the best Simpsons games ever. And I'm just mowing everyone down with my fists. Using my Homer Karate. And what's up with the umbrellas guys? Come on. I'm going to be starting up a competition soon um, that's going to happen in um, April where we have a chance to win 2,100 Xbox Live points. Um, the competition will be starting now and you'll get your points in April of course. And all you have to do is subscribe, like, leave a comment and uh, I want you to leave your comments in a Simpsons like manner. Do it in some use a catchphrase like Homer would say or say something funny. And the winning person will be notified by me um via my Nerd Genius channel. And also by email of course or by a message on YouTube so that you have to um, give me an email address because I'll electronically send it to you so uh, get liking get subscribing and leave your comments and don't leave generic stupid little comments like I like this game they ain't gonna work for me and just think what 2100 points could get you you can get a couple of XBLA downloads, uh, downloadable content for your game so you can play some extra stuff on it. All courtesy of me, Michael Burhan and Nerd Genius. Don't you find it funny that with uh, every beat em up there is a la there's like a uh, elevator scene on it. Always. You have to play through an elevator level, beating down every single guy that this happens in like Scott Pilgrim. This happens in this. Double Dragon. Streets of Rage. To name a few. I've never played the uh, Street Fighter 2 side scroller. I don't think I ever want to play that. I think that's based on the movie. Because I did have one. But would I want to play it? Not so much. And I'm walking into Mo's Tavern. Oh. Gotta beat these guys off first. Make sure they don't jump on one another. 
because it causes a bit of a problems for Homer. And never continue used. I think I've uh, used five continues so far, five or six, I believe. Oh, I'm kicking him in his testes. <laughs> Look at that other guy with a suit that doesn't even fit him. Who tailors him? Oh, I'm getting my arse handed to me. Come on. Another continues. That's six, I believe. I've used six continues to see if I can use less than ten. If I was in the arcades playing this, that would have been six quid. I've used up six quid. There we go, he's dead. Now into Moe's Tavern. The one problem I have with this game that I think they should have done is they should have varied the characters why do you have to beat up the same couple of guys throughout each level why couldn't they you know change them around a little bit palette swap them with it as well you know and change around the characters but they tend to do this a lot in their side scrolling beat em ups because even like in Final Fight you had the name changed of each character, but there would always be a palette swap of uh, another character. Which didn't help as much. Which is another game that I could be playing. But it's different a bit, I think. I'm not play too many side scrollers. Ooh, headbutt. I am getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> Does anyone remember that? This was from a um, Simpsons episode where Homer was caught dancing with a stripper. Photo went around um, circulating throughout his office, and Marge got a hold of it. She wasn't very happy. He was then sent on a mission to prove to his son that what he did was wrong and embarrassing, and how he was being a pig, an insensitive pig. You thought I was going to use the other p word, didn't you? Nope. There's a couple of Simpson themed arcade games there on the side. They're beating me with brooms. Are you freaking kidding me? Penultimate boss in this level is a drunk. Who's beating on my ass? Literally kicking my ass. Huh, I beat him. <laughs> Wiggle that ass, Homer. Wiggle that ass. 
Okay, so that's the uh, end of episode one. And um, leave a comment, subscribe, and also like.